Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there, and welcome back to another drop list video, the series where I cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that is releasing in week two of Palace's Autumn 2024 collection. Yeah, good morning everyone. It's that time of the week again. Time to cover the latest weekly drop of Palace's latest season. And of course, as mentioned in that intro, it's got to be week two. Uh, now this week was actually posted quite a few hours before the drop, unlike week one. So I might be able to cover it on time, depending on how quickly my editing is. <laughs> but um, week two has a collaboration releasing in it, which I haven't covered in a streetwear talk video, which I am sorry for, but I felt that like, let's get the drop list video out so you know what's releasing in week two. And if we still wanted a breakdown specifically of the collaboration, I can do that in another streetwear talk video. But if we cover it here and that's enough, then we can just leave it at that. But uh, yeah, what we're getting for week two of the autumn 24 season is a collaboration with Berghaus. Uh, it features a lot of awesome pieces that I've seen so far just from well, having the Palace community page open ready to cover week two, but we'll cover everything to do with that collaboration in this video and obviously week two's drop list, all the other pieces that are releasing, the release details, etc. etc. We'll head on over to that Palace community page now and we'll start covering the release details for week two. So here we are at the Palace community page that we're going to be using today, guys. Of course, it'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to vote on the items yourselves. But we'll quickly cover those release details and then we'll dive into the individual sections this week. So, uh, week two, all the items will be releasing on Friday, August 16th, 2024, online and in store. Now that is very brief, but let me get into the intricacies around that. So, for Europe and the US, Friday, August 16th, 11 a.m. GMT time in the UK, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the US. Now, for the rest of the world, or I should more specifically say for Asia, Asia is getting it on the Saturday, the 17th of August. Japan, China, they are getting it uh, in store and online in Japan and via the WeChat store of China. Uh, that's all the release locations. Most of the world picks it up from the UK online store, 11 a.m. GMT time. But if you're lucky enough, you do have specific regional drops if you live in those other areas that I just highlighted. Now, if you have any further questions about when and where it's dropping, that's what the comment section's for. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. <laughs> but that's all the release details. That's when we're getting the pieces from week two. Now we've got to have a look into what we're getting in week two. So let's kick it off by covering the custom tops releasing this week. And I think we're getting one of the best pieces of this week in the custom tops. And maybe even one of the best pieces of the season. And it's not even something that's super extravagant, super crazy. It's simple. It's easy. You can't really complain about it. We just have a mesh jersey releasing in a couple colors. My favorite is gonna be in agreement with everyone else. It is gonna to go to the black, but the blue isn't horrible either. I'm not a huge fan of the woodland camo. It's just because I don't like camo in general. I don't think it's a very, I guess, appealing all over print design, but some people really get around it. But I think this is just an awesome, simple, easy pe uh, piece to wear. No complaints from me. T-shirts, we have an abundance of them this week. We have the basically a long sleeve. That is the series that Palace does almost every season where it's just a very simple piece, small Palace logo. It's your Palace essentials in a way. Uh, it comes in a variety of different colors, every color that you need. Um, I mean, I can't complain about it. I think it looks nice in the black. Uh, you know, and the white as well. It's not anything extravagant. It's not trying to be. 
it's just a nice little essentials piece. And that is the same with the So Far t-shirt. Change of logo, but same premise. And it comes in a variety of different colors in the white and the black. You can't go wrong, realistically. Now we have the Athletic Heavy t-shirt releasing this week. Judging by it saying heavy, I'm assuming it's a very heavy cotton uh, twill or a very heavy cotton material in general. Uh, it features a palace logo done in the style of like collegiate uh, universities or uh, collegiate sports teams, etc. I really like this style of logo. Uh, I think it looks awesome on shirts, hoodies, varsity jackets, everything like that. I like it in the navy here. I like it in the black here, and the white isn't too bad as well. Uh, that is the three, basically the three styles so far that are just releasing from the seasonal collection because they just come in so many different colors here. But now we move into the Berghaus t-shirt, and this comes in three colors, white, black, and navy. White, definitely the best. The colors just look really nice works so well the black is nice as well but i just think the color combo here is a lot nicer the navy is fine too um yeah all in all it's a fun collaborative tee with a nice graphic on the back of it can't complain about that either it's this week we have i think just hats that are a little bit too much for me <laughs> but maybe not for you we have the Palomat Shell 6 panel. Uh, this hat comes in three colors here. It's not doing too much for me. Then we have the New Era LP 5950 coming in a couple colors, none of which that are really sparking my interest. And then we have the Berghaus Ear Warmer cap, the collaborative cap. Um, yeah, still not feeling that either, realistically. Strangely, under the accessories, we have uh, a rugby polo, the one that is split into four different panels. Um, we saw this in the lookbook. I didn't think it was half bad in the multicolor, uh, but the other colors are actually a lot more tasteful. I really like the mix between navy and light blue and just black on black. Um, there are actually some really nice rugby polos there. We move into the jackets, which we have the Berghaus Tempest jacket coming in some very, very vibrant colors uh, and also just a very dark color as well. It's actually a really nice silhouette. I really like the choice of colors. I really like the color blocking. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot of complaints I have on it. It's not a piece that I would wear because this silhouette isn't really my style, but I can respect it. I think it looks cool. We have the fleece jacket, which is definitely more my flavor coming in a purple, a gray, and a black. I think the best color is the purple out of all three. Then we have the Palomat shell jacket coming in three colors. Um, a very nice jacket as well. I think the white is definitely the best out of the three, but the other two color offerings aren't bad either. To the shirting, we have just a plaid uh, button up shirt. Nothing too crazy. Um, I don't know. I feel like we could replicate this look very easy and there's nothing super significant about it. So not really doing too much for me. To the bottoms, we have the matching half of all the Palomat pieces. Uh, we have the shell joggers. Uh, they don't do too much for me by themselves, but as a whole matching set with the hat, jacket and pants, I can definitely see this as a look. Last but not least, we have the Palace Font hoodie. Coming in a couple different colors that I actually quite enjoy. I do like it in the gray. The brown is really nice as well. The black and navy are also quite nice as well. Quite, quite a nice hoodie, realistically. Just a fun logo in the center of the chest. I'm a big fan of logos in the center of the chest. I really like that. Um, you give me like a little pot plant or a little graphic in the center of the chest that's like embroidered there. I'm 100% there. But uh, yeah, that is everything releasing in week two. And uh, well, it's, um, 
It's a good follow-up to week one. I really enjoyed the jackets releasing this week. The rugby polos are really cool. The shirts were really solid. The hats were a little bit of a miss for me. But, um, oh, the, the mesh jerseys were also really good. Realistically, I think it was a pretty consistent week. There wasn't anything awful except for maybe, like, plaid shirt. And awful is mean when I look at that because it isn't awful. It's just very exciting and not very interesting but um yeah i still think it's a pretty pretty cool week uh the berg house pieces are quite nice i like the shirts i like the shirt in the white the most uh the jackets were quite nice the fleece was good i wish we went with more exotic colors for the fleece the purple color is the best color out of all three but um the rest are fine you know passable uh yeah I think that's everything I really have to say about week two, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on week two. If it's a hit for you, if it's a miss for you, let me know how you feel about it down in that comment section below. And that's everything covered for week two, guys. We covered the release details that's dropping on August 16th or the 17th. If you live in Asia, we covered all the seasonal and collaborative pieces releasing week two. And we covered how I feel about week two. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and also what you're picking up from week two. Let me know what you're going to be grabbing from this week's drop in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Palace weekly drops, upcoming Palace seasons, upcoming Palace collaborations, you've just got to give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel is one of the best indicators you can give me uh we are trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3875 subscribers before the end of the month hopefully with your guys continuous support we'll be able to reach that milestone before the end of august but that is everything i have to say about week two guys i wish you the best of luck if you're going for a piece from week two hopefully you can pick it up in the size and color you are after but until the next streetwear talk video, until the next palace skateboards video, until the next drop list video in general, I'll catch you later.